hey guys welcome back to another video fox android so in today's video we're gonna learn how to make a animated splash screen right so in the previous tutorials we have learned that how to make a normal splash screen but we uh, but if we want to add a animation to our splash screen to make it more appealing right to make our app more appealing so how do we do that so first let me show you the sample what we're gonna get by the end of this tutorial right so if you can see on my mobile screen i have this app if i just open this app so you can see this image and the name of the app just animated from the top and the bottom then we get to this login screen so if i again open this so you can see this animation then we go to this screen so this is what we'll be getting by the end of this tutorial right so watch this tutorial till the end to learn how to implement this thing to your application so without much ado let's get started so guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well so the very first thing which we need to do is we need to add certain images two images i have these images i'll just copy this don't worry about it i'll provide the download link for these images in the description below you can download it from there right so i pasted this into the drive drawable folder now we may need to make an activity an empty activity we'll name it as splash screen So Gradle project sync is in progress. So once it's completed, we'll design this activity first. So till this sync is in progress, we'll do certain things. We need to add a background color for our activity. So I'll just simply name it as background. Right. And I've already have the hash code so I'll copy this and paste it here if you guys are following this tutorial and uh, doing it simultaneously you can pause this video and copy this code so now the sync is completed so now we'll start making this designing this activity I'll just set the background color okay it's done now first we'll add we'll set the width as wrap content and this as wrap content as well we'll set the id as shape
guess this looks good so now let me quickly install this to my cell phone and see if it is working fine or not right so before that i guess we need to make some changes into this manifest file so to make this as a starting activity we need to cut this and paste it here right so i guess now we are good to go now i'll install this so guys here you can see we have got our splash screen right but here you can see we have got the top bar and the status bar as well so we need to modify it right so now let's modify this so to remove this top bar we'll go to this themes and set it to no action bar right to remove this I'll just go here get window dot set flags right window manager dot layout params to set the parameters for the layout we will set the height and width as full screen right so it is not literally the height and the width so it will make that status bar or the notification tree disappear right so we have made these changes we set it to no action bar and here we have made the status bar hidden right so after that we need to change the color of the status bar for the next activity for that status bar I have the color and simply copy this and put it here and we'll change the color as well right so we are done with the screen we have removed the top bar and the status bar now for the animation we need to add we need to make certain animation files so first we'll make a directory name it nm so here we need animation resource file so we'll name it as top animation right we'll add another directory oh sorry resource file we'll name it as bottom animation right so we'll go to top animation put a translate from x delta as zero percent because we do not want to make any animation in the extra action right minus 100 percent or maybe minus 75 percent or we will look into it i guess 75 percent will work fine we will set the duration of the animation as 2 seconds so it the unit is in milliseconds to 2000 milliseconds means 2 seconds right so we'll set alpha from alpha so it defines the opacity of the elements 
so we want it from point 1 to alpha 1.0 that means fully visible so we'll set the duration for this as well wait we'll set the duration as 1.5 seconds so now we'll copy this We'll go to bottom animation. We'll paste it here. We need to change this to hundred percent, right? And we'll change this to one point five seconds only because we want the this text. Let me show you. We want to make sure that this text comes before this thing. So we just played around with the times of both the animations so i guess we are pretty much done here so now we'll go to splash screen and write on the packing code right so first we'll define a delete timer value static 8 delete time as four seconds it's just a integer value that will be using the animation top animation bottom animation right now then we have one image view that we need to play with so we'll put it as image view only let me keep it there that way so we have a text view as well so we'll put it as app name right so first we'll make the reference for the animation so top animation is equal to animation utils dot will load those animations that we just made we'll pass the context as in first argument and r dot nm dot top animation bottom nm is equal to animation utils dot load animation this dot nm short bottom animation okay now we'll refer to the image view and the text view so let me quickly type in the code So we have referred to the image view and the text view as well so now we'll set the animation to this set animation we'll set the top animation for the image and the bottom animation for the text view right okay now we are done with the animation now we want to make sure that after a certain time uh, when the splash screen is open after a certain time we go to the main dashboard right or the login screen in this case so how do we achieve that so we have this handler method dot post delete so we have this new thread so now we'll open another activity no intent right so the name of this activity is splash screen dot class right and we want to go to main activity dot 
we need but let's pass the context of this this and here we have class 8 now we'll start the activity and pass this intent after this we'll call the finish method so what does this finish do is so you do not want you want to make sure that when the user opens the app the splash screen is visible only for the first time right so when the first time app opens up that means once the in a one cycle when the all the tasks or the app is not killed so it should be visible once so one if you do not call this method and user go to the dashboard or login screens and if, if he presses the back button he'll move back to the splash screen and we do not want to do that so what that does this finish do is so it will remove this activity from the stack right so we have a stack so it will remove this activity from the stack so when the user presses back button from the login screen or the, any activity that will that will be visible after this he will exit out of the app right so he'll not go back to this activity splash screen so we'll pass delay time and we get done so that was the code now we'll quickly install this app to our cell phone and see if it is working the way we want it to be right so i'll just quickly install this so okay guys the app has been installed so let me now open this app so you can see this nice animation then we go to the next activity right so now let me close this app and open it again so you can see this animation and we go to the main screen right so i guess we have successfully implemented this so another bonus step is so for this activity we want to make that sure that the screen orientation is portrait right we do not want to when the user enable the rotate screen it should not go to landscape mode so i have set it to portrait mode right so i guess we have successfully implemented the animation splash screen and i hope you guys understood the code and understood the video in case you have any doubt make sure to ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos right so that was it for today's video see you in another video bye